I'm here to show you something awesome about the Sony Action Cam AS15 or AS100 or AS10 or, or whatever AS you want to have. Uh, there's been a lot of issues with mounting this bad boy on helmets in a good, quick, easy and inexpensive mounting workflow format. I don't know. None of those work. Uh, here's what you do. You get this stuff. It's called 3M Dual Lock and I will put a link to it below the video, but dual lock is like super duper velcro. Um, each of these little uh, things on there uh, is like a little mushroom. It's a hard plastic little tiny mushroom and the mating sides are the exact same uh, as each other and so it sticks to itself. So dual lock is really pretty strong. Strong enough easily to keep this on your helmet. So I'll do a little demo here put it on there so you know it's on there really good you know that thing's not it's not gonna come off I'm holding it from the side um, so if you hit it with a against a tree or anything like that um, or let's see if this works whoa it's close yeah it's on there so you can hold the weight of my helmet which this helmet's like 50 pounds because I got so much crap on it the nice thing is is uh, the AS15 there's not a lot of markers or lights on it to see if it's on what you can do is when it's on your head you can easily just pop it off check out the display pop it back on and then it's on there really good and tight now one of the reasons why the Sony AS15 is such an awesome camera is because it has steady shot one of the big problems with steady shot is if the helmet is in the field of view like you get in the uh, on the side mount then the helmet is bouncing around while everything else is what uh, some awesome subscribers described as Cadillac smooth. What I decided to do was make a chin bar mount out of this. This is um, <laughs> extremely dangerous. Don't do this uh, on my recommendation. If you do this and stab yourself or something that's your your fault. So this is like an L bracket that I got from Home Depot. I simply bent it like that. I put some dual lock uh, on the front of my helmet right there and I can snap this on right here. And uh, I'll have some examples and demos of this soon. Uh, my bike doesn't have a back wheel on it right now. I'm replacing it for the Moab trip. That's, that's how I did it. If you're looking for a really inexpensive way to mount any kind of action camera or any kind of crap that you might want on your helmet the dual lock is a good thing and the nice the nice thing about it is that it is non-permanent and um, it is somewhat breakaway but not like you know a gust of winds not gonna break it off anyway that's two solutions can't recommend dual lock highly enough it's really cool stuff you guys if you want to mount your camera check it out Are we good of the view and the steadiness and all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna kind of get crazy wiggling this thing around and uh, it's not gonna look good but keep in mind I'm wiggling my helmet more than I would think I would ever wiggle it on the trail. Like, oh, stop it. You can totally see my hunched over. The reflection of this shows me filming it. That's fine. It's fine. Can you just lift the mask up? <laughs> 